Oliver is born. In England, 150 years ago, poor people lived in the workhouse. One evening, a young woman arrived at the door. Please help me. I'm going to have a baby. Come in. That night, a baby boy was born. The young woman was very ill. Let me see the child and die. She kissed the baby, then she died. Who was she? Who is the child's father? Nobody knows. The old story, no wedding ring. She wasn't married. What name can we give to the child? Let's call him Oliver. Oliver Twist. Oliver grew up in the workhouse with the poor children. Life was very hard. The manager of the workhouse was Mr. Bumble. We are very generous here, boys. Children have three bowls of soup a day. And bread on Sundays. The children were always hungry. One day... I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat one of you. Let's ask for more food. Oliver, you ask. That evening, in the dining room... Oliver, go on. Ask for more. <laughs> Oliver walked up to the cook. Please, sir. I want some more. What? Please, sir. I want some more. The cook hit Oliver on the head. Ow! Mr. Bundle, Oliver Twist asked for more. More? I don't believe it. Mr. Bumble pushed Oliver into a small dark room. Get in there, you ungrateful little wretch. We don't want you here. He put a notice outside the workhouse. Hmm. Let's see if anybody wants to take him. Mr. Bumble met Mr. Sowerberry, the undertaker. Do you know anybody who wants a boy, Mr. Sowerberry? I'll take him. He can come and work for me. Mr. Bumble took Oliver to Mr. Sowerberry's house. Is that the boy? Mrs. Sowerberry, come here, my dear. Oh, he's very small. But he'll grow, Mrs. Sowerberry. He'll grow. Yes, on our food. She took Oliver into the kitchen. 
These are some bits of cold meat for the dog. You can eat that. Come with me. Your bed is in the shop with the coffins. Oliver slept in the room with the coffins. He was very frightened. The next morning, open the door. Yes, sir. Do you want a coffin, sir? <laughs> I'm Mr. Noah Claypool, and you're under me, workhouse boy. Now open those windows and start work. Mr. Sowerberry was very satisfied with Oliver. He has a sad face, perfect for children's funerals. Noah was jealous. He hated Oliver. How's your mother, Workhouse? She's dead. Don't talk about her. Oh, she was a bad one. What did you say? I'm sorry for you, Workhouse. Your mother was a bad woman. Oliver was furious. He attacked Noah. <gasps> help! Help! He's killing me! Mrs. Sowerberry rushed in. You murderous little villain! They pushed Oliver downstairs into the cellar. Poor Noah! I knew that boy was a murderer. Run to Mr. Bumble and tell him to come. A few minutes later, Mr. Bumble arrived. Do you know this voice, Oliver? Aren't you afraid? No! The boy's mad, Mr. Bumble. No, not mad. It's meat, Mrs. Sarbury. You gave him meat. That boy must eat only soup. No! Oh. We were too kind. That night, Mr. Sowerberry punished Oliver. <laughs>